This is Troy with Coast Universe back again with the Mean Streak RMC update. Again, it's probably not going to be called Mean Streak, but just for the time being, I'm going to call it Mean Streak. The new name Trailblazer, but just judging by what's been going on in the Cedar Fair chain, it sounds like Trailblazer will probably be used for the California's Great America coaster, which sounds like it's going to be a T-Rex tracks or a Raptor tracks, depending which one they go for, but it'll probably be one of those two. But not much down here going on, but lots going on way up top on the lift hill as you've probably seen in pictures. But this isn't like a lot of the big progress. I mean, yeah, they've been building up, but I know a lot of those headers were already on there and they just haven't put track on it. But there's a lot of track going in on the back. They're starting to weasel in the track underneath all these supports here because they're starting on the wraparound that comes up underneath here. So I'm going to bring you around back and show you what's actually really going on right this second because I know they're actually lifting track at the moment, which I'm not quite sure what the element was, but there's something going on back there. We'll, let's go see. Another thing is, is the general store is selling these Mean Street keychains. So if you want to pick one up and you still haven't, there's always still the chance to get them here at the general store. Another thing that's been sprouting up that's possibly a teaser for this coaster are these wanted posters they have been showing up all throughout frontier town there's some in the train station some throughout on the just the regular buildings but i don't know if they're actually for the new mean streak or if they're going to be actual teasers for other parks because we know king's dominion just got one so maybe these could be characters for other battle for the park games but only time will tell we're now back behind the former mean streak and we can see the cranes sitting up here, getting ready to do some work, or possibly holding some in place, but I don't see any workers right now. So it's probably just sitting here and waiting. But then we come down and look through here, and we can see since last time they've continued off the brake run, into this double up into the airtime hill down, then the lift, or the airtime hill up and back down. And when you look in through here, let's see if I can zoom in, you can see there's some track in there and this little crane down here was doing that work they were working as I was driving up but as you can see now they're not lifting anything now but yeah that's what's gone on so far they've added all the track along the back here and like I've said before they're probably gonna have all this track work done by the Hollow Weekends event just due to the fact that they're probably gonna want to open the Eden Musee which is right here behind that Rocky Mountain construction crane but so we're probably going to see the track work wrapping up here within the next month or two, at least along the front. And hopefully it'll be ready and testing by the end of the season so we can see what it looks like running. But if not, you know, and because if I'm not mistaken, I think Maverick was up and running the in the 2006 season at the end of it, even though it opened in 2007. Just gave them enough time to work out any issues or whatnot that could happen. But let's head back inside the park. Here comes the CP and Ellie Railroad, which means this is the end of another construction update. Please subscribe for more. I will be doing these hopefully every week now because I'm now back from traveling. I was just at Six Flags Great Adventure, which was the highlight of that trip. But I went to Six Flags Great Adventure, Six Flags New England, Six Flags America, and a lot of little parks in between. You'll see those videos coming up here soon. But as always, thanks for watching and please subscribe for more.